In this movie, we're going to reintroduce you to the Select Expert. In prior lessons, you learned the basics of the Select Expert and how it filters data. But now that we've passed through the Formula Editor, it's time to take the Select Expert to the next level. But first, we're going to need our test environment. I've thrown together a report using the Revenue Transaction, the Office, and the Customer table. If I go to my Database Expert, you can see my Customer, Office, and Revenue Transaction tables. And here's how I link them. From there, I pulled in revenue amount, client number, site, office name, division, manager, and client. Using what you've learned in previous lessons, you can easily throw this together. Now let's go ahead and click on our select expert. Right now there are no filters on, so I get the choose field filter. And instead of choosing one of my report fields, I'm going to go down and choose my revenue transaction and choose a revenue date and I'm going to say is greater than or equal to 1-1-2008. I'm going to go ahead and use Save Data. Now we all know how to use that and we know we've just filtered by any revenue records that were not greater than or equal to 1-1-2008. But let's go back. Once you click on the Select Expert now we get the Select Expert window and we're going to click on the Show Formula button. Notice we now have this revenue transaction date and formula format. From here, we can go to Formula Editor. And this works much to the same degree as your regular Formula Editor, except there's a few things you can and can't do. What you're defining in the Record Selection Formula Editor is the WHERE clause of the SQL statement. You're essentially doing Visual SQL, but you still have to follow the rules. Most SQL statements will have a WHERE clause, otherwise it pulls everything. From here, as opposed to dragging and dropping, I can type in AND and then choose from my report fields, either user defined or straight from the database. And in this case, I'll say where office name equals Denver. And I'm going to save and close. Now you're still not quite done, you still have to press OK once you're out of it. In this case, I'm going to continue to use my save data. If it was something new, I'd have to refresh. Notice how I have no results that's left. If we click on the Select Expert again and click on Office Name, we now have a new tab. Whether you choose to use the Formula Editor or just use the visual features in Crystal is up to you. The question we have is how come once we put these two filters on we get no data? It's because they don't meet both conditions. The conditions state that it must be a revenue date of greater than 1-1-2008 and be in the Denver office. So if we go back and we change it to another office, let's say Charlotte and then press OK, we'll go ahead and refresh the data. Now we have data. Working with the Select Expert is full of pitfalls. So the purpose of this reintroduction is to get to used to what can happen if you choose the wrong filters or the wrong combination of filters. We're also going to cover the OR clause and the combination and or as well and how to use them together effectively. It's important to understand what you're filtering to understand what data is actually being pulled back on the report for display. 